What's up, everybody? How's it going? I'm Brad Dollar, producer, engineer, and coach. Hope you're doing great. Welcome to the Monday Music Check-In, where in 10 minutes or less, I'll bring you news and the latest highlights from artists, gear, and other experiences happening in the music industry so that you can move into your week full of new tunes, new ideas, and new inspiration. But before we get started, if you like content like this, be sure to hit that little thumbs up button and the subscribe button because it really helps the YouTube algorithm to know I even exist and to bring this info to more people just like yourself. It means a lot and I thank you for doing that. So without further ado, the clock is running. Let's go. All right, first news that's up. I got some notes here, so I'll look off to the side here and there. I'm looking at the notes. First things first, Spotify published their earnings report last week for Q2. This may not mean a lot to most of us, but for us who are in the industry, releasing music, putting music out, making music, it really helps us to pay attention to what one of the biggest music platforms of all time is doing in terms of the money they're making. Now, it's a little disappointing because they're making a lot of money and artists still aren't bringing a lot of that in. But what is promising is that their monthly active users has gone way up. And around this time last year, they're pretty certain it was gonna to start to slope off altogether. So it's great to see more folks going into platforms where so many of us are putting up our art and it gives us all who are creating music an opportunity to reach more of them and to devise strategies to have deeper and better connections with them. Granted, a lot of this is probably from the uptick in podcast usage, but still those folks from the platform and we as creators have an opportunity to tap into them and bring them into our world. So highly encourage you to go to newsroom.spotify.com, check out the Q2 report and see what you think. Okay, next up, so sad, Dusty Hill from ZZ Top has passed away. This incredible bass player, has laid the groundwork for blending blues, rock, soul. If you haven't heard them, has been a tremendous influence on guitar players and producers from all over the world for the last 30 or 40 years. If you're looking for songs to check out, definitely check out LaGrange. I like the song Rough Boy a lot. Uh, you can also check out Legs, Tush, Give Me All Your Lovin', Sharp Dressed Man, so many great tunes for you to check out and to show some appreciation from Dusty Hill. And if you're looking to hear a great bass player that is really awesome at playing bass lines that fit to a song that don't get in the way but still hold things down, Dusty Hill's your guy. A lot of great stuff there. So sad that we lost him. I highly encourage you to look up his life, put some energy and thoughts to him and his family and consider listening to some more music for them because it definitely helps keep his legacy alive and I'm sure you'll enjoy it in the process. Next up, Lollapalooza was this weekend, and it will take a few days for us to know if it becomes one of the biggest coronavirus super spreader events of all time. But until then, we can reflect and know that this is one of the most diverse gatherings of artists and people that Lollapalooza's ever seen. I'm a little concerned with how many people were all there crammed in, but I'm very excited to see music coming back and I'm very excited to see people even want to go out at all. So if you're looking for a replay or you want to see what happened on Lollapalooza, be sure to go to Hulu. They have a lot of stuff there you can check out and I'm sure on YouTube there's lots of clips you can watch from the show. So highly recommend you go watch it. If you like rock, pop, hip hop, it's all there for you to see. And it's also a really, really big technical feat for streaming and audio production. So if you're a nerd like me, at the very least, you'll enjoy that. Okay, next up, Gibson has endorsed Kirk Hammett and Kirk Hammett has endorsed Gibson. It's kind of a big deal for two reasons. The first is that in the 80s, Metallica, who Kirk Hammett is a part of, and Gibson had a falling out because they were basically creating copies of Gibson guitars for their signature models and then selling them and it caused a whole big kerfuffle. So to see it then coming around full swing to where they're actually going to partner together is pretty neat. Secondly, Kirk Hammett holds Greeny, which is one of the most sought after Les Pauls of all time. It's very special. They say it's blessed and has a lot of magical superpowers. And so if they make a signature model based upon Kirk's Greeny, that would be awesome. I think people would pay out of the nose for that. And even more so, I think if they made like a cheaper Epiphone model, kind of like how he does with his ESP and LTD models, that would be a huge win for the company. So I look forward to seeing what they do together. And if they make that Greeny, might have to buy it. So check that out. If you like Metallica and Gibson, this will be really fun, exciting news for you. Last up in the music news, Kanye West is gonna do a second listening party for his new album, Donda. I love this. Whatever you think about Kanye West, it's so cool when artists bring fans and audiences in to hear projects before they're done, to get their feedback, and then use that feedback to make it better. It always helps, and it always brings attention to their art. So really big kudos to Kanye for doing that. I look forward to the album coming out. Got a lot of friends who are working on that project, and I know they're working really hard down at Mercedes Stadium right now. So whenever this is done, it'll be a big relief, and I'm sure it will have an effect on music just like Kanye's songs always do. 
Okay, moving on. Okay, we got four and a half minutes left, so let's uh, let's get it going. Here we are today. We are very excited to see that Waves has rolled out their CLA Chris Lord Algae in X plugin. If you're not familiar with Waves, they make audio plugins that have been around for years. They usually model things like compressors and EQs, and now they're modeling rooms. So with this plugin, you can monitor your mix on a pair of headphones as if you were actually in a room in that space, which if you've never done that before, the room itself that you're in has so many effects on the sound. It helps you or hurts you to hear what's going on in the speakers and whatnot. So to have an emulation of Chris Lord Algae's room, this, this tremendous producer and engineer, uh, it can be really helpful, I think, to figure out if your mixes are actually working or not. So I look forward to trying it. I've got a review on it coming this week. Look out for it. But until then, you can go check out a demo on waves.com and see for yourself if you like this technology at all. Super cool. Also up in the gear department, I've got new near field monitors from Ocean Way. Ocean Way is a historic studio in Los Angeles and now in Nashville. And they've been making large speakers for studios for several years now. So I'm very excited to see a small pair of them condensed and made available for near fields. Near fields are really great for most audio work to do most mix and editing and recording decisions. So I bet these sound great and I can't wait to try them. Also, if you follow the Fender Custom Shop at all, they just released two new Adrian Ballou custom guitars that he built. Both have Sustainiac systems, which create like infinite sustain. And I'm sure there's other cool electronics going on here. I love the Custom Shop. I love these special guitars that they pull out. And usually when they make great ones, they come out as like signature models. So Adrian Blue is an awesome guitar player. If you like him, check out these guitars. There's some samples on his Instagram. You can hear what they're doing and look out. They might be in a store near you. Last up for gear this week, I just want to highlight one of my subscribers. Arkaz has these picks that he made for Dovidas. These are handmade picks and I like how special and unique each one is. So if you're looking for a very special shred worthy pick that's made of some heavy duty material and has some real love put into it, check out Arkaz's picks. I'll put the link in the description below for you to check it out. And you can also find it on Reverb if you just want to search for it. But love when any of you subscribers make stuff, please share that with me. I want the world to know the cool stuff you're doing, especially if it comes to music gear and things like that. So good job, Arkaz. I look forward to trying one of these out myself. All right, two minutes left, let's keep it going. Now let's talk about some music that came out. Bleachers, the one and only Jack Antonoff, one of my favorite producers, came out with a new record last week, Take the Sadness Out of Saturday Night. My initial listen to this, and I need to still do a deeper dive, is that it's just as catchy as ever before, but now it's a little more sophisticated and a little more evolved. I think him working with Aaron Desner and Taylor Swift has really opened up his mind and he's really stepped into like a new level of confidence with his production. I can just hear it, it sounds awesome. So definitely check that out. I also heard Thirstier by Torres and I was blown away. This is a great combination of like lo-fi and heavy. The fidelity on this is out of this world and I am pretty sure I'm gonna start using this song as a reference for checking my own mix to see if I'm even in the ballpark of coolness. So really highly encourage you to check out Thirstier by Torres. Also, if you like folk rock and kind of like Roots Rock that's a little heavier, Sunvolt's new album, Electro Melodier, I hope I pronounced that right, is a fantastic one. Listen to a few songs, I really like it, and this is probably not what they intended, but the snare sounds awesome. So good job on the production, and I look forward to getting all that really soaked into my brain. And last but not least, a new album from Prince just came out, Welcome to America, which is songs from his catalog that have never been released before. And it's so great to hear new music from him, even if maybe it's not his best stuff ever or it had his magic touch on it at the end. It definitely is so lovely and empowering to see his face come across release platforms again with new stuff that you know, I'm sure will inspire somebody. So if you love Prince like I do, take a listen to Welcome to America. It definitely sounds like he didn't get a chance to put his finishing touch on it. It sounds like that little extra slice of magic is missing, but it sure does sound like Prince. And some tracks that stood out for me are Born to Die and A Thousand Light Years From Here. I really like both those songs. And if you're looking for a place to start on that album, I recommend those two. All right, well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for tuning in and getting your dose of this news. I hope this inspires you. I hope this gives you stuff to listen to and hope that this gives you new techniques to go learn about and try as you make music this next week. And if I miss news that you're excited about, be sure to drop a comment below so we can all check it out and I'll be sure to include it next week if it's still going on and really important. But until next time, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great week and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.